one of the other um, topics that we're presenting some data on uh, at this meeting is, is around starting children and teens with type 1 diabetes on CGM soon after diagnosis. Um, and there are a couple of, we have a, an abstract uh, that's presented as a poster. We have one um, coming up on a, f a Thursday afternoon session as an oral presentation. Um, that's focused on understanding both the glycemic and psychosocial benefits of using, of introducing CGM early in the course of type 1 diabetes. Um, so what we're reporting on is from a, a, a study that is a randomized control trial where we either gave people the Dexcom G5 system um, within 30 days of diagnosis um, or they were waitlisted to start on CGM six months later. So the data that we're reporting on here is just in that first six months, and so we're still collecting data on people after six months. Um, but in that first six months, what we see um, pretty clearly from a glycemic benefit is that the group who uses CGM in that first six months versus those who aren't using CGM, um, they have two to three times less hypoglycemia um, during that course of time, and and I think it's uh, you know the, the reasons for that are that people are seeing their numbers and catching them before they actually go low. So there's a lot of benefit um, on the glycemic side, especially in terms of hypoglycemia. Um, from a psychosocial standpoint, we also see that parents are feeling less distressed and burdened by diabetes when they've used CGM across those first six months. They also feel much more confident about catching hypoglycemia in different situations, whether it's their child's at school, um, their child's exercising away from them. And so we, um, we, we see those benefits for the parents. What we see is relatively no difference between the kids and teens and um, the ones who use CGM and those who didn't. Um, and so we, we want to look at it a little bit longer to see if at, there's some point when the kids have more benefit from using CGM versus others. But right now, the parents um, uh, are perceiving much more of a psychological benefit to using CGM early in the course of diagnosis. We will follow people for two years, from the beginning of, uh, di from diagnosis to two years. In the first six months, it's, like I described, it's either CGM or no CGM. And then um, we help people that are already on CGM, we help them get it through their insurance or whatever means, they, if they want to continue. For the, the people that didn't have CGM in the first six months, they, we give them supplies for six more months that they can use it. And then we just track people and see what they do. So we're also interested in knowing just naturally or you know, from an observation standpoint what happens to them over this next six months and then the whole next year, um, the second year of having diabetes. I expect that we're gonna see differences that those who had it early on um, are gonna receive more benefit from it, those who waited six months, but we wanna wait and see what the data tell us. Why do I think that? Well, I think it's partly that they have a, um, they learn early on um, skills that help them with the most frustrating parts of diabetes, um, which are hypoglycemia, um, not being able to integrate it into different parts of your life. You get better at, um, you know, using it as a tool for when you start, you know, resume exercise or you do something at school from a physical standpoint. So I think that the establishment of those skills earlier on will lead to people feeling more, um, you know, efficacious in being able to manage it as they go along, which then leads to less burden.